Amen. Amen. God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. good. Praise the Lord. How's everybody doing this afternoon? Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Who's excited? <coughs> Woo! Well, I, um, uh, first and foremost, I just want to give all the glory to our Heavenly Father. Um, secondly, um, the same man on the house, um, Laurie, whoever's in charge. But uh, mm. last but not least, um, everyone here, thank you for being here. Mm. Turn to your neighbor and say, I congratulate you. I, I congratulate you. For being here. For being here. It's true. Because many people don't want to come to church. Amen? Amen. They think it's boring, but really you just need a, a change of perspective. Amen? Amen. Amen. And really we, we need to encounter the Lord, Amen. God Almighty. Because many just know as some sort of historical figure or just some, some, some person in the book, but God is real. Amen. Yes. Do you believe in church? Amen. Yes. Am I speaking to someone? Yes. yes. Hallelujah. But God is real. This is why many of us are here. Yes. Because in some way or form or shape or whatever it is we've encountered them, whether it be through healing or some sort of miracle. My wife. Uh, oh, yeah. yes. We have experienced them and we're still here today. If it's Amen. If it's um, Amen. Um, I'm not going to share too long, but my name is uh, B. Williams. Um, I've been with these guys for some time. Uh, just doing a, a bit of, uh, mainly around the area of evangelism. Uh, we just came back from a mission sometime last year um, in Indonesia and also uh, Papua New Guinea. But uh, I want to just share briefly on that. Um, but during our time in mission and evangelism, um, it's been awesome, it's been powerful. I've seen God work um, in many ways, whether it be financially, whether it be um, miraculously, supernaturally. Um, God is always coming through, amen? Amen. That's the God we read. Many people are just reading it and just thinking it's just some stories, but really God is still at work today. Amen. What does the Bible say is in Hebrews? He's the same yesterday, today, and, today, yes. and forever. Yeah. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> we need to believe him. And we need to uh, trust in the word of God. That he is real. That he's able and still to perform miracles. And to bring forth breakthrough. Who wants a breakthrough? Yes. You yes. need to claim it. Hallelujah. You need to receive it. Mm. Amen. I remember um, the girls were saying, uh, uh, the ladies this morning were saying, it's, it's a year of the mouth, according to that. <laughs> Sounds strange, but <laughs> it's true. Um, also, it's a year of de de declaration. Mm. Because when you look into the Hebrew um, word for, for, for the number um, 20, it's either mouth or declaration and so forth. There's many things. But we need to declare it. Our breakthrough, amen. Amen. amen, or victory, whatever circumstance, whatever we're facing or challenges, we need to declare it. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. amen. amen. Mm -hmm. But I'll go back to what mm -hmm. I was saying. Um, in regards to the, to the missions, um, evangelism, that's what we've been doing. That's what um, we're mainly around um, Auckland City, just mm -hmm. preaching. Um, Evangelizing, we've seen a lot of people be saved and um, stopped a few people who were going to commit suicide on that, on, on that evening. Mm. Mm. Amen. Amen. Seeing the cripple walk, um, tumors mm. removed, stroke. Um, even uh, one, one um, this one stood out in um, Indonesia. There was a Papuan guy who, uh, the brother over here laid hands on him. And he spoke in two different languages, never been taught. One was Cantonese and the other one was Mandarin. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Never been taught. <coughs> and we had someone who was able to confirm it because we got two, um, we got a couple who are Chinese. Mm. So they were able to confirm what was being spoken. Mm. That's the God we, we seen. Mm. Amen. Come on, church. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Just like in the book of Acts, you know, mm. Acts chapter 2, 
when the 120 were in the upper room, what happened? Mm. They were praying. And then suddenly, the Holy Spirit, they were filled with the Holy Spirit. They started speaking um, different tongues. Yeah, mm. tongues. And that's, man, it's, it's a miracle. Hallelujah. I believe the same thing can happen here. Yes. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise Hallelujah. God can do the same thing just as he did in Indonesia and in, um, in Papua New Guinea. He can do the same thing over here. But um, last but not least, before, before I close, I just want to um, just share a scripture in, um, in the book of Matthew verse 9 and 10. And what, what, does, what does God say? Oh, actually, Jesus, he says, he says, the harvest is plentiful, mm. but the laborers are few. Mm. Amen? Amen. Pray, therefore, the harvest, uh, to the Lord of the harvest, that he'll send out laborers. Amen. We hear it all the time, over and over again. Mm. But how, how many of you are going out there and doing, preaching and sharing you don't have to be grabbing the mic and going out on the street and start preaching. Mm. Amen? Amen. You can share it in just by having a one-on-one -on -one conversation, a dialogue with your neighbor, or your work colleagues, mm. or even on social media, like us young people <laughs> like to jump on. <laughs> you know, God is making a way, uh, making it easier. Yes. But yeah. at the same time, the devil's taking advantage. Mm. And manipulating mm. technology and etc. Amen? Yes. Amen. The harvest is plentiful, church. Mm. And there's only a few laborers. Mm. And that's you and I. You know, I just came back from um, this afternoon after our service, lovely service, we were just up um, where the mines was. And that's my first time with my family. We just went there and checked it out. One of the words I believe that God has put on my heart, as everyone has been uh, emphasizing, Lord, that you're, you're sitting on a gold mine. Mm. Amen? Amen. You are sitting on, and maybe not the one over there, but it's in the person Amen. next to you, in the person yeah. out, out there. Mm. Church is, is everywhere we go because we are the church. Yes. We are the body of Christ. Where we, we go, mm. we do church. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Many of us are just stuck in a, a routine. But hey, God wants to use you wherever. Yes. Mm. All we have to do is just open our mouths and, and our hearts in heaven will flow through us. Amen. So, once again, I just want to say, hey, you guys used to sitting in a gold mine. Amen. So, bless you guys. Amen. Yeah.